Oh my god! Look at that motherfucker fall! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! That's kind of a little teaser. That only happens sometimes you open the game. That's fucking great. Hey! Alrighty then. Hello gamers, DC Gaming, and welcome to FNAC Fur. This is a Five Nights at Candy's game made by the creator of Five Nights at Candy's. Um, this is kind of a little thing that he wanted to do uh, before the game comes out, before everything starts happening in August. So this is the legacy demo of FNAC Fur. Oh, I think that's the name of the game. I think that's kind of it. We're gonna hop right into this! Let's go! Ouch. I slept so nicely that I fell out of bed. Again. But what's this? Absolutely nothing! There's a piece to be... Not... There appears to be not any problems. That's great. No problems in any place whatsoever. How convenient. That means I got all day to myself. Why here? Why? Why? Why your face like that? Better go to it. Is your dick or something? Alrighty, so here we are. Let's jump. I love my babies. What? What did he just say? What did he just say to me? No. I already mustered the strength to get up today. Alright, so you're not going back to sleep. Not a speck of dust. That's nice. Let's leave then! Hi, Cindy! Candy! Oh, hey! It's my twin sister, Cindy! Hi, Cindy! Candy, you idiot! You told me you left a huge mess outside yesterday! What are you talking about, Sisterino? Sisterino? Did you just call her Sisterino? Your fur. It's all over the place, clumped up into a big pile of... I was so impressed by the music game. I already like the 8-bit. And just her saying that... Nope, I'm done. I'm done. There's no way this game is about cleaning up his goddamn fur. There's no way. There's just no way. I clean up my own cat's fur. I'm not gonna sit here and clean up yours, motherfucker. You're in a restaurant. You got people to clean up your own shit. And it's not gonna be me! This is literally unreal. How did you even manage to lose that much fur? Shrug. Did you just say shrug? This sounds like a big problem for everyone but me. What can we do to fix this? We need to go collect all your fur. All of it. But I'm just spearheaded mascot of Burger Joint. I can't do stuff on my own. Will you please help me collect all my fur? You make a fair point. Fine. I'll come along with you on this adventure. And then I can also make sure you don't screw things up. I'll never do that again. You can now swap between Candy and Cindy with C. Sounds like a useless game mechanic. You're a useless game mechanic. Okay. Oh, that is interesting, though, that the color just switches. That's so weird. So this is Candy's room. Cindy's room. Hey, why are you obsessed with flowers? Totally because of that one minigame I had ages ago. Apparently. Apparently. Imagine being able to sleep with all all day with no worries. Yeah, just imagine. I'm surprised you even managed to wake up today. Lol. Why is this locked? Why is what locked? The cupboard. What cupboard? This this one right right here. Oh. Oh shit, I got a hundred dollars. Okay. Whoa, there's my- Whoa there, Mr. Sticky Paws. Those are my hard-earned monies. I'm just borrowing them. You know, 
Infernend of the Adventure. Just remember to pay me back. Again. Doubt it'll happen. But you never know. That's an interesting thought. If I can jump like that, can I jump? I can, but there's nothing up there. Okay. Um. Interesting, interesting. Hey, Cindy. Wouldn't it just be like me to slouch on this couch right now? Yes, Candy, it definitely would fit your laziness. But we have a job to do. Yeah. It's interesting that this game is being so intent on explaining that Candy's, like, lazy. Very interesting. Okay. Interesting. Here lives Candy and Cindy. Alright. Which... Very weird. What is this? Is this like a Mario pipe? What is this? Saving. Oh, it's a save! Oh, that's great! Okay! is already interesting. Candy Cindy's house, that way. Okay. So I can go off map then. Here lives Chester. Oh shit! Chester! This is very interesting. What's up, Chester? Hey, Candy and Cindy. It's me, Chester. Hey, guess what? What? What about my. What about my bananas? Clever jokes as usual. Only the classiest for your boy. On uh, non-joke note though, I uh can't find my red banjo. You didn't yoink it at some sort of prank, did ya? Would it be a prank if we told you? It's just the banjo. That banjo is like a really big part of my image. Theoretically talking, it would be a ma masterful prank. But in reality, I'm very much incomplete without it. I guess we can keep an eye out for your rem red banjo. Hey, do we really have to? Just giving him what he wants to hear. Much obliged, my helplessness. Okay then. So I gotta find your banjo. I gotcha, man. There's this house. Here lives Tilly. Who the hell is Tilly? Hello? Who are you? Hey, you guys. Sup, Tilly? Not much. I was just literally doing nothing at all. Why have you guys come in, come here to invite me on your adventure? Uh, you wouldn't want to be a part of this adventure. It's more like a big cleanup mission. Speaking of cleaning, I was cleaning the place earlier. Like, I totally do at least once a week. Totally. Anyways, I was cleaning... And I seem to have lost a precious heirloom. An heirloom? You mean like one of those things you use to brush your hair? That would be a hairbrush. Hence the descriptive moniker. But yeah, nah, it's my golden bell. Like, it's a bell which is entirely gold. It doesn't get more specific than that. We can keep an eye out for you if you want. But only if we get to ring it at least once. Sure. 
I am in it here you will yeah, here while you're at it. Ha huh? sure. What him, him it in your ear while you're at it? Jam it. Oh that did not look like jam. That was terrible. Why does the whole J look like that? But for real, thanks guys. How about you texting English? Start texting in English. Because that was really difficult to fucking read. Why are you gonna make your J look like that? this jump you fuck jump thank you what is this oh my god jump thank you what is this it's just another door I guess are just another door here. And what are all these doors for? This is now the second random door I have found. What is the point? Coins! And another piece of fur. What is this? Read it. What does it say? Hidden. Skipping dialogue. You can hold Z to speed dialogue up with text, and you hold X to skip the text writing altogether. Oh, I didn't know I could hold Z down to speed up text. Here lives old Candy in the world he has been written a permanent marker. Where is the rest embossed into the letterbox? Oh shit. This house is big. Damn, you got a big house. And inventories. Your inventory is separated into two item types, food items and key items. Food items can be eaten to restore HP and grant effects. Key items are items that key importance to may be used in the future. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, what's up, old candy? I'll talk to you in a minute, man. Oh, I can't make that. Okay. Well, I just want to cross your house quick, man. Okay. Oh, shit. No way! What? What did you find? It's a yarn ball! How lucky. I bet it could be used at some point. Ball of yarn was added to your inventory. Oh shit! What the fuck? What's this? Ice cream was added to your food inventory. Hey! Alrighty then. Interesting, interesting. I don't know how I get into my inventory. Yeah, we go inventory. Okay, prologue. Been playing for 14 minutes. Okay, ice cream. And then, okay, so it's that button. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'm also gonna switch to Cindy because I haven't been Cindy in a minute. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> hey there, youngins. Here for another adventurous tale of mine. Heh, <laughs> get it? Get what? My joke. You see, I said tail because we're cats and we all have tails. Anyways, have you seen my lucky coin? I must have lost it a while ago. Um. Chat? Did you ever tell you about my battle against the dogs? Only a million times. It was one. It was a day like the other, any other. The sky blue with clouds sailing across it. The wind was in the trees, soft and yet brittle. 
I was on my way to see my friend Blank, but on the way there, you wouldn't believe what I saw. Continue the story. Continue. Dogs. Dogs as far cat eyes as can see. But as my true pointy ears, I did not hesitate. I clawed my way through those sorry canine crooks. I must have defeated hundreds of dogs. I kept losing count. But when I finally reached my friend, the poor bastard, he was all out of breath. I could only make out a few words. Somehow, the boss dog has returned. The fiendish beast herself, the boss dog. My old nemesis, once vanquished by my claws, had returned. I knew what I had to do to stop him once more, so I continued my trek across Sweet Hills. Continue the story? Yes! I crossed the Great Lake, but something lurked deep within. The waters were infested not with piranhas or sharks, but murdogs. These aquatic abominations reside in the water before they launch themselves at you. Murdogs? Did you make that one up in your sleep? Murdogs are real, as you and I, kiddo. I couldn't have ma never made up a creature so cruel. And even dog mixed with something as delicious as fish. So what happens next? Luckily, I made it across the bridge, with my tail still connected to my body. But now, hold hold on to your butt, and do not fret. This is where the story takes a dark turn, because there I stood, at the entrance of the dark, dark cave. Do you need the story? Yes. So then, I climbed into the cave, down the streets... Steep, steep, blah, blah, steep, steep strokes. <laughs> Luckily, my jumping skill are unmatched by any other creature. Deeper within the cave, I faced many tricky jumps, as well as more dogs to be clobbered. And yet, I made it across every chasm, leaving behind a trail of defeated dogs. After clawing my way through rubble and stone, I came across a big dog! Gasp. This dog was at least four times bigger than any normal dogs. And was worse, it spat fireballs at me. It nearly signed a few ends of my f singed a few ends of my fur a few times. The fight was intense and long-winded. I tried to ambush it from behind, but it kept matching my jumps when I tried to jump over it. I thought your jumps were unmatched by any creature. Huh. Yes, well, I couldn't let that big buffoon know this, now could I? Anyways, in the end, I resigned victorious thanks to my quick tactics. Continue the story. It was at the end of the cave. I was at the end of the cave. All the rubble and rock had now been replaced by brick. I had arrived at the lair of the boss dog. The immersive feeling of a heat kept growing in as I progressed. For at the end, there were pools of boiling lava everywhere. And to my surprise, I was not alone. The place was coarse infested with dogs and murdogs. Just like back in Sweet Hills. However, these were no ordinary living creatures. They had begun to turn into skeletons. Skeletons? Skelly dogs. And skelly murdogs, to be exact. But did you think that scared me? Yes? Think again. I jumped across the lava from platform to platform. I was jumping like I'd never jumped in my life. Climbing my way through skell dogs and skell murdogs. They panicked as... They pan... Yeah. They panicked so much that they threw their own bones at me. But finally, I had reached the end of the lair at the boss dog's chambers. Continue the story. Before entering his chambers, I had to brace myself. For what awaited me would quickly become the flash of my the fight of my life. I had one of those every morning when I wake up. <laughs> I entered the chamber and there he lay, the boss dog himself. The sheer size of this fellow. He must have been nearly 10 times as tall as me. He began attacking me violently and furiously. With my quick, precise jumps, I managed to dodge around his claws, and using the loot I had found across my journey, I went for his head. Loot? What kind of loot did you find? The non suspect but useful kind. It made me stronger and more agile. Anyways, after a few more cuts to his face, the boss dog went all out. His claws were everywhere. He shot enormous fireballs everywhere, and even shot green lasers from his eyes. 
Lasers? Awesome. But even with all those powers, he was still no match for me. I finally defeated the boss, the DOS Bog. The DOS Bog? Wow, the DOS Bog! The boss dog once more. And so I went home for the day. You see, dogs like think themselves superior to cats. And it is that kind of arrogance that blinds them. Ones must be wise and know one's limits, regardless of species. Wow, what a story, Gramps! He <laughs> any day for you two. So is he like their grandpa? Hello again. Did you find my lucky coin? Um, give item? Nah, you don't have my lucky coin. D don't try yanking this old tail. It's impossible for you to have found it. Did you find my lucky coin? And then what does this do? Never mind, it just leaves. Okay, so when I find his lucky coin, I gotta come back here and give him his lucky coin. Interesting. Very interesting story, though, Gramps. If I can... Am I gonna go see Blank now? Is this Blank's house? Here lives Hillary. Hillary Hare. Hillary Clinton. What? Who the hell are you? Who are these random characters that I've never seen before? Bonk. This is just her bed. Down. This is here. There we go. Come on. There we go. That way. That was not high enough. That was. There's nothing up here, anyways. Okay. What's up, Miss Hare? Hello! Well, if it isn't the feline twins, by all means, you invite yourselves into my house. What brings you two cutie pies here? Hello, Miss. Has anything been out of the ordinary lately? Not the friendly investigator voice, and he again, Candy. Nope. Everything is always beautiful, splendid here. However, actually, I'll be darned if I do have one minor hitch. You see, I've been looking for my little electric guitar. Pretty feel like it's been... I've turned the world over twice with no luck. Hmm. If may, what does this guitar look like? Well, it's green. And it's electric. I think that's uh, all I know about it. Got it. Just sit back and let the professionals get on this. I can barely keep a straight face anymore. Why, thank you. Of course. I got a lot of things to find for people. Hello. Whoa! The bridge is broken! Wasn't me. This is what comes... What comes of the shootily craftsmanships, I tell ya. This timber here wasn't even properly sanded, not, nor waxed. Not to mention it was poorly strung together. Truly unprofessional. Yeah, that bridge sucked. Well, I guess we better head home. Sh shut it, Candy. So, uh, Mr... Name's Beaverson. Mr. Beaverson. Of Beaverson and Sons Log and Logging In. Do you think you will be able to fix the bridge? The logs are already carved and ready. All I need is something to string it together with. A perfect, a ball of yarn. Give him the yarn. A ball of yarn, eh? I've done more with worse. This'll do. Now stand back! Damn, he really working. Hey, she's done. Splendor me timbers. Now, if you excuse me, my work is over and it's time for my vacation. Have a wonderful day. Deed picks up his bags and leaves. I guess we can start the other adventure. Yay! Don't worry, Candy. I doubt this will be any legend, lengthy and epic adventure. Probably not because it's a demo. Or not a demo, but it's. A as far as I've heard, it's a kind of a shorter game. Sweetieville. Sweet, yeah, Sweetsville. That way. Uh, save. 
That's a doggo. Ow. That is a bad doggo. Oh, so I can't kill anything. I just stun them. Got it. So basically hop over everything. Understood. Is that a chicken? Is that a fucking chicken? I'm assuming water's death. Yep. Water's death. Got it. Ow. Oh my god, I thought I almost just died. What's up, Wormy? Okay. Back up, dog. am I supposed to get that one up there? How the hell? Oh wait, I keep pushing the wrong goddamn button. What the hell is that? Oh god, I thought he was about to fall. That is one elongated dog. No, what the fuck? Don't do that. Oh shit, look at all that fur. And more fur. There's a lot of fur. This dude sheds a lot. Woo! Knew that was gonna happen. Hold on, where's my inventory quick? I wanna eat my ice cream. Use. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Go hop over. Ow, hop over the chihuahua, please. Okay. Oh, come on, hop. Thank you. Um, gotta get used to these controls. Oh, what the hell are you? Ow. The hell? One big ass doggo. Oh, I'm gonna hit, hold on. I'm gonna hit over here first. I wanna check out what that cave is. Ow! Yo, the dog follows me! Yo! Get the fuck! Okay, hold on. Get in the cave. Fucking- oh shit. The controls for this suck. Cause his jump is Z, then his shoot is this. So like, I get it mixed up all the fucking time, and if I push them both at once, it opens up my fucking that, which doesn't need to fucking open. So I have to be careful without fucking touching shitty buttons. Ow. Ow. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch. Ow. Oh, 
okay. Alright, fuck that. I switched to controller. Because controller will be a lot easier. Touching? Oh shit, buttons I shouldn't be touching. See how easy that was with controller. If the buttons are now closer together, they're easier to touch. They're maneuver quicker. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Woo! Ow. Dickhead. Do I have... Get off me, dog! Get off me, dog! Thank you. Ow. Get up! I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Ow! Warning, wildflowers. Cut with sharp Sounds like a job for my flower cutting claws. Ah, and I have to switch to her because she has flower cutting claws. Where if I bet I switch to him, it doesn't do it. Ah, so that's where I have to switch. Interesting. Come on. Oh, thank God, a save. 
Get up there. There we go. Yes, yeah, save. Thank God. We love saves. I love the music. What? Can. Can. Voice. Could it be? Oh, shit! It's me, your arch nemesis and sworn rival. Oh, snap! It's the rat. It's the rat. Right on the snout as usual. You see, I'm always ten steps ahead of you. What devilish plan has he come up with this time? I bet you're just squirming to find out. Hold up. Are we really doing this again? I'm not sure what you mean. It's just... Isn't this literally another tickle... A typical bout of, of good versus bad? Like those we've been through dozens of times already? I mean... You said he has a devilish plan, Cindy. Yeah, but... That'll have to wait for another time. We're in the middle of something here. But what could be more important than epic rivalry? We're collecting all the loose fur. You're what? You're more than welcome to help us. Otherwise, you better be off and save your plan for another day. But, bye bye uh, Okay. He's so sad. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Screw this! I'm doing my evil plan anyways. Oh shit, alright. This animatronic death is will make short of work to you, you two. I built to myself a box of crap. What's an animatronic? No way you built that thing yourself. Yes way I built that thing myself. And it's the true animosity of the eye, just as it should be. In fact, I'll call it the animatrocity. Oh really? The animatrox atrocity? It sounds kind of dumb. It says Mr. Sugar Confection. And now, to put the two cats, a man should have named it Curiosity. You know, but Curiosity killed the... Whatever. Too late. Now become gone or something. You couldn't make your good joke. Sorry, man. You're too late. Your joke sucks. Curiosity killed the cat. Looks like that was animatrocically... Game. Animatrashed. Quality joke, bro. My anima... My creation! If it makes you feel any better. It didn't really put up much of a fight. But it looks so cool and deadly. Aw, oh, rats! Are the best, of course. I'll get you back for this, Candy. And Cindy. Okay, bye! Back to what I was doing, I guess. This is the end of the... Oh! Thanks for time. Oh, of course, man! I did it! Okay. Interesting. There's gotta be something I missed, though. Right? Maybe? Oh shit! There's something secret! How to climb ropes. When near rope, press up to latch onto it. You can climb nearby ropes holding left or right. Finally. Attach from the rope by jumping. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. That's gonna be real difficult. Okay, hold on. How do I- wait, whoa! How do am I- I know I gamed over. Hold on, I already have a save. I'm already good. But hold on. Got it, there we go. Oh god, I got it. Oh shit, I got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, this isn't bad. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh! 
What am I supposed to do there? Okay. No, oh, grab! What are you doing? Oh my God! Grab! Jesus fucking Christ! Thank you. Jesus Christmas. Pancakes. Oh, fuck, yes. Give me those pancakes. Eat those pancakes. Yummy, yummy. Pancake. The way she just, the noise she makes when she flips. down here? I think there's a bit down here. Woo! Alright, head out. So I think this is gonna be about it. Alrighty, but this is gonna be the end of this demo. FNAC fur, whatever the heck you wanna call this. I'm not exactly sure if I got everything, if there's more furs I can get. I got 28. Um, I'm also not sure if you can find all of the things that people want throughout the game. I still don't know what the fuck this is. So, there are some secrets that I don't know if are able to be done, but this is kind of the main demo, so I'm gonna end this here. It was pretty good other than the mechanics at the end. Um, those ropes kind of were dumb because you would jump and had to push your joystick up to grab it but sometimes it wouldn't, and then when you jumped off, it sent you in a random fucking direction. So that didn't really help on jumping through the ropes. But, other than that, the demo was pretty good. I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, I'm really excited for the next Five Nights at Candy's. Five Nights at Candy's 4 is gonna be great. Um, hopefully, they have a lot of things planned. And this was FNAC Fur Demo. Um, as always, if you didn't like it, in the description there's plenty more things subscribe to my that room look at channel um plenty of different things on there and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace and goodbye